Let's say that instead of a modal screen that completely covers up the screen and kind of navigates from the top down to the bottom, or from the bottom to the top in that sort of animation, we just want like an alert component similar to what we get out of the box, uh, I guess like this, where it's an alert just showing up over our content and then graying out the background where it's not interactable. Uh, what if we want to do that with our own styling, with our own modal? Well, we can do that in a very similar fashion to what we've got here. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and copy this screen, the modal screen. I'm going to rename it alert. Now on our actions list, let's go ahead and change this alert to navigation.navigate .navigate, and we want to go to alert. So now if I press open alert, we're going to show the exact same thing but we want to display it differently. So what we can do, again, accessing our options, we can go ahead and start customizing how this screen is displayed. We'll start by going ahead and setting the card style. We wanna set some sort of opaque background. So I'm gonna set a background color, RGBA 000, which is black, and then a tint of 15%. And make sure I close this correctly. I'll get there eventually. Okay, so if I open up the alert, it doesn't really do anything because I made a typo. Okay, here we go. We've got our black. Now if I open up the screen, we can see, all right, it's showing up, right? We're seeing this content over the bottom. Uh, one thing we can do to improve this and this is just more, the, more of a navigation related thing with React Navigation, but you can set card overlay enabled to true. And that's just saying that we're overlaying other cards, so it should stay in the stack. Now when I open it, basically we see the same thing, right? So the functionality is all there. But the big thing here is that it's still sliding up from the bottom like a modal. We want this to fade in. And the way we can do that and customize that is via the card style interpolator. Now this is going to take a function, and from this function we're going to need to return an object. This object's going to have a card style we need to customize, and an overlay style that we need to customize. Now the value we're going to work off of this is going to use the animation or React Native animated library to do all of this, is we're going to have some input from this input we're going to go ahead and pull the current property off of it. And off of the current property, we want to go ahead and pull the progress property. Now you could go ahead and just shorthand all of this to just be object destructuring, grabbing current off of the input, and then we can go ahead and grab progress off of that. So let's go ahead and just focus on the card style first. Using progress, we want to interpolate that input, and that input range is going to go from 0 to 1, and we're going to have a few different stops. We're going to have a stop from 0, a stop at 0 0.5, a stop at 0 0.9, and 1 at 1. Customize those to your heart desire. Now we need to take those inputs and give an output that we want. So for 0, we want it to be 0. At 0 0.5, we want it to be at 0.25. At point 0.9 we want it to be at point 0.7, and then finally at an input range of 1 we want our output to be at 1. Let's go ahead and see what happens with this. Now if I open the alert, ah, I'm sorry, and I missed something. So this progress.interpolate, this is what's affecting our opacity for the card style. So really this should be opacity and then give us our progress. So card style is an object, as we see up here, and then we're setting our opacity here. So now if I press open alert, we can see it fades in from the background. And just like before, we've got this area, it doesn't do anything, they've just got to focus on that modal and interact with it in some way before they can go back to our application. Now for the overlay style, we can do the same thing, we can go ahead and customize the opacity, which we'll do. And we'll say progress.interpolate, input range, add a comma up there, our input range is going to be 0 to 1, our output range is going to be 0, 
to 0 0.5. And then we can set an extrapolate, which basically just tells it how it should animate. Uh, we'll set that to clamp so it doesn't go over. And now when we open it, you can see it's a darker background and we've just basically customized how exactly this is working. So this is our overlay style, this is our card style, and really you can just customize it to your heart's content to make it exactly what you want. But by using the uh, card style, card overlay enabled, and card style interpolator, that's really the big one here, you can really customize how each screen is displayed. So we can see here, we've got some screens in our root stack that don't have any animation. Then we've got one that has a modal type animation. And then we've got another one that's got a completely custom animation. So using React Navigation, we can do all kinds of different customized stuff. We can have this customized global alert system to let you do whatever you may need to.